So in this first video, I'm going to be walking you through the steps of designing an ad, uploading it to the internet, generating the HTML code, and then posting it on Craigslist. So I'm not going to spend a lot of time on design in this first ad, in this first video. The next videos uh, that will be coming out, I'll focus more on design and not on the process of uploading. Because once you know how to upload it, then everything else is uh, then you can focus on on what you want to put in your ad so to make things easier I like to work in tabs so we're going to be using Gmail or Google Drive or Google Docs postimage.org and this is where once we have our ad we're going to upload it to the internet now if you have a website and you know how to access your files, your HTML folder on your website, then you could actually bypass this and just upload it to your to your existing website. But all you need to do is get the file path or the image URL. Um, if you already know how to do that, then you could actually skip this step right here. But if you don't, um, then it's you could just use postimage.org and it's it's actually very simple. And the next step will be using an HTML editor. So once we have our image, and then uh, obviously Craigslist. So I like to have these tabs up, and it makes the process a lot faster. So let's get started. So first off, we're going to use Gmail. And if you don't have a Gmail account, then go ahead and sign up for one. It's absolutely free. So once you're in Gmail, you want to look for Drive or Docs. So Google Drive or Google Docs, and they're the same thing. So once you're in Drive or Docs, you're going to come over, you're going to hit Create, Drawing, and we're going to rename this drawing from Untitled, we're going to call it Welcome. So now I'm going to turn the background bl uh, blue, so I'm going to come up to the Format, background and hit blue. Now I'm going to go to shapes. Here, I'm going to drag this out. Now I'm going to change the color, the fill color, to yellow. Now I want to put some text on top of here. Hit the text box. Click on here, put welcome. Now I can drag this anywhere I want to, and you could drag the corners with your mouse. So I'm going to drag this out and make the font large. So welcome ad. So now we're going to save this ad. So we're going to come to File, Download As, and we're going to use a PNG. So click PNG. And now you want to save it to where you're going to find it. So you want to make a folder to where you can easily find. So I have mine in my documents. Call it Welcome. Save. So as you can see here, it is saved. So now it's saved. We're going to come over to postimage.org. And these links are provided. So now you can either register which will let you manage your your images once you upload them, which I, I do because I like to um, access them. Or you could just upload one straight as is right now. So I'm just going to upload this one just like it is. Click Browse to where you could find your ad you just saved. Open. And we're going to leave everything the same. Do not resize. Family safe. Click Upload. Now here it is. And now we're going to copy the image URL. So come down here to where it says direct link. All you have to do is hover over it and it's going to highlight it. Now if you're on a PC, just hit Control C, or if you're on a Mac, hit Command C. So now we're going to copy this. And now we're going to move over to the next tab, which is the HTML editor.in. And now this text here, we're just going to delete the text. So 
So now you're going to come to the image icon. Click the image icon. Now you're going to paste the image URL right under where it says URL. So now you could hit Control V on a PC or Command V on a Mac. So now the image URL is here. Now if you have a website that you want to link to or anything else that you want to link to, what you want to do is click link and now you could put the the web address that you want the ad to click to you know if somebody clicks on it and make it clickable and they'll be directed to that website now the target if you leave it not set what will happen is they'll when they click on your ad they'll be taken away from Craigslist and taken directly to your website and uh, some people get annoyed with that, some don't, it just depends, but if you do a new window where it says blank, what will happen is they will stay on the Craigslist ad and a new window will pop up to the website you want to take them to. So right now I'm not going to link anything, I'm just going to leave it blank and I'm going to click OK and there's our ad. Now we're going to go to source, click on source. So now we're going to select everything on here. So you want to put your cursor at the very beginning, drag it all the way down. You're going to hit control C for your PC or command C for your Mac. Hit copy. Now we're going to head over to our next tab, which is on Craigslist. And I'm just going to come into for sale. I'm going to hit post and let's do appliances so from here all we have to do is hit control V for your PC or command V on your Mac and you're just gonna paste that code right in here now you're just gonna fill out the necessary info that you want and provide your email and then we're going to hit continue now there's no images we're going to be putting in so you can leave this you don't have to do anything just hit done with images now here's your ad now, I also wanted to point out since you're using Google Docs for the drawing and Google lets you save everything, your drawings, and uh, they also have documents. So with the code you just pasted in Craigslist, it's a good idea to maybe open a new document in Google Docs and then just paste that code into Google Docs and it'll actually save it for you in case you need, need it later on to access it. So now if I have it pasted here, save it if I come back and I could just highlight everything, copy it, pull up the HTML editor again, and delete this. And if you hit source, delete all this, and paste it back in here, and hit source again, okay, the image comes back up. Now, you can also, if I just hit enter, I'm going to put a space up on top here and you could also add text like so and you could do bullets so you could do this above and below your ad what's good about putting text with your ad is when people search it'll pick up the keywords and um, your ad could come up for different search results because there's no way of a search engine to read what's on your ad because it's all it's just an image but I'm going to be doing another video on uh, keywords for your ad and I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one